Hey everybody, if you've been watching my shorts or my reels on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, anything like that, you probably saw that there is now a cow living in my barn. Um, it's a baby cow, so a calf. It's called a bottle calf because it's less than a week old. It still has the umbilical cord attached and everything. And because it is a baby, we have to feed it from a bottle, hence the term bottle calf. I'm new to this. I'm new to raising bottle calves myself. I grew up on a dairy farm and I've done this with my dad before but it was a completely different situation because um, I was just in charge of giving the cows their bottles. So that's like all I knew how to do. <laughs> um, that's all I had to do for that. Now it's a little bit different because I'm in charge of this thing's actual survival. We are raising him for meat. So it is a bull, it is a Holstein. And um, we're going to see where this journey takes us because I've never done this before. Um, on my own. So how I'm going to do this and how I'm going to show you to do it, how I've been doing it. And if anybody has a better way, please let me know in the comments. I am always open to, um, to improvement. So the first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need some milk replacer. I don't know how long this is going to last me. I will probably have to get a bigger bag of it. So this bag of milk replacer cost me roughly between like 20 and $30. I have to go back and look at it. And when I do this whole process, I will keep um, tabs on what everything cost me. This cost me a little bit less than ten dollars. It's like nine nine ninety nine or something like that. Nine ninety seven. I don't know. So basically, ten bucks for the bottle. I only got one bottle because I only have one calf. So I figure that as of right now, I can just clean the bottle out in between feedings. Um, and then I got a funnel and um, the milk replacement. So the milk replacer, the bag of milk replacer, actually has a scoop in it. However, it did not have a scoop in it. There is no scoop there for me. So I'm just doing this, measuring it out. So it's 12 ounces, three scoops or 12 ounces of milk replacer to two quarts of water. This is a two quart um, baby bottle. <laughs> the two quart baby bottle. And 12 ounces is going to be a cup and a half. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill this up with warm water. So you don't want it to be hot. You want the water to be 115 to 120 degrees. And I'm just doing it by feel. So this is also the first time that I've used milk replacer. So when we were on the dairy farm, what we would do is my dad would uh, take some milk um, from the cows and he'd dump it into a bucket so while he was milking he you know he didn't hand milk but he had the milkers going um, at the end of it he actually had the robotic milkers which was really cool maybe if you guys are interested in that I can go show you that sometime um, if the farmer that owns that is you know wants to show it once you know I can show you the robotic milkers but we take a bucket of milk and then we would just take these submerge them in, fill them up with milk, screw on the baby nipples, keep them in the bucket so we don't, you know, have the buckets, carry them over. Um, and then we would feed them to, I mean, they're still warm, so we would feed them to the calves right afterwards. And then anything extra, um, he always gave to the barn cats. So that was our routine when I was a kid. This has you mixing it with a whisk. Um, I'm just gonna do it right in the bottle, that's how I've been doing it, and it's been working out fine, just shaking it vigorously so here we go the water is not for you so what i'm gonna do to mix it up really good is i just i'm going to put a little bit of water in it put my milk replacer in it shake it up and then add more water and more, more milk replacer so this bag actually says for large breed calves, you are supposed to fill this to the brim. So it says 2.3 quarts fill to the brim. So it's not to the line, it's all the way up to the top. My calf is going to get three of these bottles a day. Um, you can give two, you can give three. I'm gonna give three. Now the cool thing about this is that I have goats and once my goats are milking because they're I haven't bred them yet but once I milk my goats I will be able 
to give them goat's milk and goat's milk is actually better than um, the, the replacement. So the best thing is, you know, milk straight from the cow. If you can't get milk straight from the cow, then the next best thing is going to be goat milk. And then the next best thing after that is the calf milk replacer. So it's formula. I'm essentially formula feeding a cow. This is the finished product. It's so weird. It smells like formula. It does not smell like, you know, if you've ever like bottle fed a cow, like straight from the cow, like, or like know that like fresh warm milk smell. It doesn't smell like that. It smells just like formula. Um, so then I'm going to close this up. Um, doesn't want to close up. It's a resealable package, but only if you've got like resealable spills here. Okay. I'm going to close this up. I'm going to sort in a clean, dry place. Um, the other animals can't get to it. Like, don't want to store it in the barn or anything where something can get to it. And I'm gonna go out and bottle feed my baby. So I'm gonna do my very, 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 very best. Got my little helper out here. What? You're my little helper. I'll do my very best to record this um, while I'm doing this, which means I'm gonna have to put it down. I'm gonna have to help that the goats don't get my camera. Um, and uh, try to like manage everything. Cause you'll see when you do it, it's not really something that I can like have a camera in my hand and like selfie mode feed a calf. So I also brought out a halter because I'm going to. Mommy, she pooped it, right? She pooped. Um, yeah. I've never done this, but I want to halter train him. Um, a couple of things that you want to know when you're feeding your calf is that um, you don't want to do it laying down. So you want to make sure they stand up. Here you go. Okay. So you want to make sure that they're standing up. Okay. It's just like a horn. Yeah. So you want to make sure they're standing up. You want to make sure they're not getting air bubbles. They are going to headbutt you. This process takes a while. It's not something that is, um, you know. Mommy, quick... see, you stepped on the poop. There. Mommy, I see the All right. poop. All right. Shh. So a good healthy calf is going to headbutt you. They're going to, uh, because that's what they do to get the moms to let down, um, is they headbutt. So, like that. <laughs> Thank you for the demonstration. Give me a thumbs up if you like a goat. Or a cow. Or broccoli is a goat. So remember, Give a thumbs up or a thumbs up. Oh, these are big, beautiful eyelashes. I love cow's eyes. They got these big doe eyes. All right, so I'm gonna keep you updated. I'll let you know like what it cost me, the whole process, anything I learn along the way. Here we go. So make sure you're subscribed. <laughs>